Happy Tarot Tequila Taco Tuesday, the last Tuesday of the month that we do this special. Now, look at that. Looks good, right? Let's get into it. Leftovers, baby. So, we already meal prepped for the week. Let's get out our skillet because we're trying not to use a microwave. Let's get out our oil. We don't want to, we want to reuse our oil. We're going to heat up the pan so we can reheat up our ras and our meat. Here we go, meat, baby. Ras, baby. And put the lid on that. Now, let's take our tacos because we ran out of chips. We're going to make our own chips. We got tortilla chips, restaurant style chips at home. So we're going to cut up the tortillas. And we're going to fry them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I love chips. Mm. All right, we got this speeded up. The next clip, it won't be speeded up. You can hear the sizzle like shh. Oh, yeah. Put a little salt on it. Who am I kidding? Put a lot of salt on it. <laughs> did I mention I'm drinking espresso? Yeah, I did this last night. I'm trying to get better about doing my videos early and get them, getting them uploaded. Look at those chips. Oh, my Lord. I'm hungry just seeing this, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, all the Britney Spears. I'm going down memory lane with Britney Spears. I finished her book and her audio book. And, you know, seeing her stuff, you know, I just taken a trip down memory lane. Because, you know, I listened to Britney Spears as a kid. Oh, we're going to put more tortillas. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hear that? You see that? Mm. Oh, my Lord. I am ready. I know what I'm eating for dinner tonight. I am, I mean, it's leftovers, but it's good leftovers, buddy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think this time I'll fry up my tacos or roll them on up and mix some, what is it? Chimichangas. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do when I get home. I'm waiting in the airport queue doing my voiceover. Oh, we got our meat in our ass heated up. All right, turn that off. Turn off this. I ate all them chips too. Was it healthy? No. Was it good? Freak yeah! Now I am on a budget. Did I need the chips? No. I didn't. They were so good. Oh my god, they were so good. Talk about mouth gas, Mick. Yum yums for the tum tums, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the first couple were too dark, so don't leave them in there too long. I need to get one of those real fryers that got the, like the basket and everything, but they're not healthy. Man, look how good that was. Mm. Those chips were amazing, y'all. never have enough yes you can you can but this salt's good because it's add on salt all right we got our meat our rice we reheated that up it's all done we're gonna put them on our tacos but we didn't make tacos we rolled them up so technically a burrito put the lid back on it mm. yum yums for the tum tums all right, a little bit of cheese. Put the cheese on first so it melts because, you know, the meat and rest is still hot. I don't know why I set it up as a buffet. It was just me, but whatever. Oh, yeah, we could have salt. I'm obsessed with salt and ice. I have, I have issues. Obviously, I'm low in iron and magnesium, so I need to eat food that is high in iron and magnesium. Onions. Buddy, I can never get enough onions. I love... I should just eat the whole thing raw. That's how much I love onions. Lettuce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at that. Mm. All right, roll the sleeves up because we are going in. It is serious. We are about that business. Let's do it, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh my lord. Got me some Chipotle on it. Uh, we ain't letting no onion. No onion down. No onion left behind. I love Spanish. I think this is, no, I think this is yellow onion. They didn't have Spanish onion at the bulk store. Spanish onion is my favorite onion because I love to crunch crunch. There's like certain onions that go with cooking, certain that are good raw. Red onions are good raw too, even though they're more purple. I don't know why they call them red onion, but whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, baby, baby. Mm, oh, yes, this chip. Oh, I'm getting into it, buddy. Oh, yeah. Chips or even the burnt ones were good. Why well, I like cr crunchiness? I just don't know if I like them that crunchy because it does taste change the texture a little bit. <laughs> yum yums. Uh, we gotta have some margaritas. I've had way too much caffeine today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tequila mixer. Oh, sorry, that country song stuck in my head. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes. Y'all, I'm so grateful for this meal. Like, I feel really bad. Like, I was stressed in today. Like, I don't have the feng shui right. I'm not completely unpacked, but I'm like, you know what? You got a job. You got three part time jobs. Some people don't even have a job. You have a roof over your head. I'm grateful and thankful. I'm eating food. It may be leftovers, but I have food, you know? So, um, I went to Sam's again. I think I got almost five pounds of, was it Angus beef or ground beef? One of them for like 20 bucks, dude. Um, obviously it's gonna last me for the whole week. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. So all I did was reheat leftovers. I ran out of chips, but I have little, sorry, it's rude to talk with your mouth full. Mm, I'm starving, y'all. I worked up an appetite today. I had a uh, little tacos and I was like, you know what? I'll just turn those into um, chips. Mm. 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 Mm -mm I'm out of salsa. Next time I go to the bulk store, I'll get some in bulk. Mm. So I got this ready to serve golden margarita for like seven bucks and it says it's 1.5 liters. You can't beat that. You just pour it over ice. I didn't feel like doing this salt because I already like enough salt as it is. Salt on my chips, salt on my food. These past couple of months, maybe a year, all I've done is crave ice and salt. Like salt on everything. Obviously my iron's low. I might be low in magnesium. I think that's why I'm craving salt. But we'll get through school. Mm. Mm. Hopefully eventually get hired on somewhere and we get some insurance. But most insurances don't cover like hormone tests or you know tests like this which is weird it's like they i feel like they want you to be sick but anyways let's get into this taco or burrito whatever you want to call it So I already put salt and pepper and hot sauce on it. They each bite, I gotta put salt and pepper and hot sauce on it because it's just that good. Mm. 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 
I'm just now thinking about it. I could have had him put this in the fryer where I fried the chips. Mm. I do have an air fryer. Or it's like, it's a three in one. It's an Instapot, an air fryer, and something else. Uh, I need to whip out that thing and make some air fried chips. Mm. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for this meal. Mm. Mm. So grateful. So freaking grateful, buddy. I was talking to my welding peeps, man. They all keep getting their hours cut. My one sister she's in well three the restaurant isn't even called her in hasn't called her in in two weeks she's got a baby i think a one-year-old my son's a teenager you know so so luckily she's got a support system. I was like, girl, how do you afford childcare to be here? And she was like, I'm just th thankful for my circle. She's like, it's small, but I'm grateful for it. And um, mm. 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 Shake the ice up. Mm. Mm. So then my Weldon brother in class two, he works at the House of Blues, and I'm like, yeah, they usually let you go for the season. He's like, yeah, I haven't been called in at all this month because he does security. And then I have a Weldon brother who's in Weld three. I think he works at Arby's and McDonald's. They're cutting his hours. And I just, it's rough around here. We're all just trying to, we're, we're all just grateful for this scholarship, y'all. Mm. 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 So, this is our second tarot to get a little Taco Tuesday. So, since this is the last Tuesday of January, I figured we'd start doing that. I did it for December, so I figured we'll do it the last Tuesday in February, last Tuesday in March, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mmm. Mmm. If I get enough followers, I can start going live and y'all can ask me some questions. That would be neat. Mm. We need more ice. Now, since I'm the only one here, I'm allowed to drink the water straight up out of here because it's melting a little bit. So I'm gonna drink some of the water. Mm. Wasn't much water. So, 
So, um, oh, so I got more ass. Now we're gonna shake up, shake up, shake up. And it tells you, um, oh God, it says contains sulfates, contains yellow number five. Oh no, this is terrible. Ready to serve premium margaritas, enjoy frozen or on the rocks. Refrigerate after opening. They call it a wine cocktail. With real lime juice and cane sugar. Grape wine with natural flavors and certified color. Oh, that sounds bad. Yeah. After this is gone, we're going to try to be organic. But I mean, you can't go bad, but it's not really healthy. But alcohol in general is not really healthy for you. All of those Europeans, the way they drink them wine, buddy. They outlive us. Like, their quality of life. Like, they eat most of their meals outdoors. They walk everywhere. And I'm like, I need me a life like that. I've never been to Europe. I'd like to go one day. I'm thinking about maybe... Mm. 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 It's on my feet all day, so it feels good to elevate them. Got a load of laundry in. I swear, I do a load like every day. Just cause I'm trying to, I'm weird though. Mm. 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 Like usually I have a towel for my body, a towel for my hair, and then a towel before I go to bed at night. Especially when Aunt Flo's here. But usually I like to air everything out. And I only like to wash my sheets like once a week. So I was like, well, if I lay a towel down, you know, I just got to change the towel every day. So. And I take a shower every day, so that's three towels a day. But I've been getting better. Like, obviously, if it's a body towel and a hair towel, I can just keep it up and let it air dry. And only, like, wash the towel that I go to bed with. So, yeah. Mm. 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 Nothing like some homemade, well not homemade, I didn't make them, they were already bought. All I did was cut them in brown, but I do like playing with dough, so. After I'm done with this bulk stuff, I uh, definitely want to get some flour in bulk. And I like, because I got rice in bulk, which makes sense. You know, rice is a staple. You know, some kind of meat, rice, and veggies. I got meat, rice, veggies, and cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get into the tarot. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mmm. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Mmm. So grateful and thankful for this meal. Okay. We're going to put this off to the side, even though I'm still hungry and I want it. I was on my feet all day today, so, you know, very physical. So, ugh. I burned up an appetite. All right, now we are going to do our Tarot Tuesday. So, we're going to knock three times. One, two, three. To clear out the energy. And because I'm a triple Libra, a.k.a. Libra Stellum, usually that card speaks to you. But we'll see. And then we're going to knock three times again. One, two, three. And we're going to... Lay them out. Okay. 
Now breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe out. Okay, tarot. All right, which card speaks to me and or my YouTube audience? And we have the Six of Swords. All right, the Six of Swords. Let me know in the comments below if you felt like this card was for you. I definitely felt it was for me because this is a woman. I'm assuming it's a woman and a child. And the swords represent emotions, habits, memories. You can tell they're moving forward, but the cover reflects sadness. Like, I know when I'm sad and I don't want to put on that happy face, I put like a hat on or like a hood. So it's sadness and you can tell she's got her kid cling to her. And do you see here to the, the right, well, I guess she all's left, the water is turbulent, but to the left, or I guess she all's right, the water or sea, uh, sea of chi, whatever you want to call it, is clear. So they need to make this move, but obviously they're sad. And it's funny because I was thinking, well, it's not funny. I was thinking about one of my classmates and I was worried about her. This is weird. This is this color? Yeah, it is. I wish I wouldn't have saw that card now. Um, anyways, so I was thinking about this mom and her child. Uh, so maybe it was for her. Maybe it was for my classmate because that's what I was thinking. Like, I'm just so proud. I was like, my, my son's a teenager. Like, she's got a freaking baby. Like, she's doing it. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of my other sister, too. She's got a Jeep, so I'm like, we need to go Jeep in, but we all work too much. But anyways, so if you felt this card was for you, you're sad about something. Maybe you lost someone, maybe a new job, you're moving, and these swords represent memories you're holding on to. I definitely felt like this was for me. Um, there's a lot of stuff I've been through. I've been through some traumatic stuff and, you know, I keep writing letters to DC. I wish I would have known now what I did know then. Um, you know, unethical laws suck. <laughs> so I had to learn the hard way. If you don't come from money, power connections, it's going to be hard to get anything done. And I had a really, several years ago, a really traumatic experience and I'm trying to get through it and have a happy face and I totally relate to this card like I'm sad and I know I can't really forget about it but like it eats at me every day so I feel like I don't deserve anything good even though nothing was my fault you know it was shady legal stuff but still I I just said it's my fault I'm a terrible person I'm worthless I don't deserve anything which I do, I do deserve good things, but in my head, I'm like, you don't deserve anything. Everything bad that happens to you is your fault, which I really truly feel that way. All because I didn't have any more money to fight and this battle I was fighting, I didn't know about like timelines and dates and the opposing party lied about text messages and if, and then I couldn't use text records at the time in court. And if I would have been able to, it would have showed like, hey, I was telling the truth, but it was a he said, she said thing. And I had to find out the hard way. You have to have the right lawyer. If you have a lawyer that isn't good with the judge or the judge doesn't like, or you didn't vote or help the judge get into the office. So yeah, and me being a Libra, I see both sides of the scale and I crave justice and fairness. So there's a lot of battles I'm fighting internally. And, uh, you know, I, it gets hard. I get a little sad uh, or smad, sad and mad. And, you know, I just keep writing to DC, hoping one day they'll get my letters or respond to my letters. 
and unfortunately the law's the law so i'm trying to change laws in this state some some laws have changed like there's been some cases where well i can say this because it's public knowledge i can't go into detail what i went through because um i already broke gag order once so if you break gag order once, you get wage garnishment. If you break gag order a second time, you get a gel. Obviously, I can't raise my son from gel. So I hate that I have to be quiet. Like, I hate that. Like, you have to pick and choose your battles. So this is kind of with it, but not. So since I can't talk about my situation due to gag orders, I can talk about what is public knowledge. So I used to live in a state not so sweet home Alabama and there was a doctor many many moons ago who got upset that mothers wanted to have natural births and he was like oh it's barbaric to have natural births we need to have episiotomies and c-sections because obviously you make more money and surgery than you do natural so this doctor had the money, the power connections, and he got a lot of certified nurse midwives in the state of Alabama jailed. So before, was it 2015, 2017? Before the Alabama code, what was it, 1975 or 1976? So before, you know, got a return and whatnot, um, Innocent women, children, mothers, daughters were jailed all because they wanted to help women have a natural birth. So now, obviously, you can have a certified nurse midwife at your home to attend a home birth. And it just makes me really sad that we still have a long way to come when it comes to women's health. So it's kind of the same thing, but not. It is, but it's not, so... I can state that because it's public knowledge. Obviously, I I did some work on it, but not nearly as much as the woman who did it before me. Because at the time, I was in nursing school. And uh, after becoming a mom, like, at first, I wanted to be a certified registered nurse anesthesiologist so I could be called Dr. Barnes. But I found my true calling, and I was like, I don't need to be called a doctor. I don't need all these fancy cars. Because, you know, I wanted to what impress who so once I became a mom I was like wow this is true love this is what it's all about it's all about family because you know I grew up poor I couldn't afford you know all the fancy stuff and I wanted to buy all the name brands and have a cool car and be skinny and blonde and blue eyes and you know everything I'm not and then I became a mom and I was like being a parent is the hardest most rewarding job you'll ever do so I definitely feel this card and now I have a teenager and I'm and I'm mad because obviously I became a mom young and I was going back to school you know taking classes here and there you know I wanted to go up the ladder program I went from I wanted to go from CNA to PCT to LPN to RN to, to uh, BSN to MSN to uh, CRNA and I, I can't get that time back. So I definitely miss the baby stage. So if you're a parent or soon to be parent, just enjoy it, man. Just enjoy it. If you don't have your degree yet, oh well. <clears throat> if you still gotta work, like trust me, it's hard being a working parent. If I'm ever lucky to be a parent again, I want to be a stay at home parent. Um, but as I get older, I just realize, oh, that's probably not going to happen to me. So I get sad because most men who want to provide and have a stay-at-home wife usually want really young women who are skinny and all that whatnot. And that's okay. You know, they have a right to have what they want. So, yeah, I definitely miss the baby stage. So now I'm just like, if you need a free babysitter, I'm available. Well, I feel bad. The last time this girl tried to pay me and I was like, I can't take your money. I'm already at my other job. Now, if it would have been my rideshare job, I would have, um, you know, logged out and helped babysit because, oh my God, kids are the best. 
And I'm so proud of my sisters. Like, I feel bad. Like, she would love to be a stay-at-home mom. But, you know, her husband only makes so much. And he's in the military. And it's like, really? Like, why are we not paying our military better? So, anyways. Definitely felt this card was for me. I definitely missed that baby stage. Like, I got a back-talking teenager. Um, I'm still young enough to be a mom again. I am just not in a good financial position. So... I'm pretty sure that ship has sailed, and I think that's like, you know, I'm not meant to be a mom again, but hey, you know, I'm if I'm in a position to help a sister to, and by sister, I don't mean bi biological, to, you know, try to help a sister babysit, you know, so she can go to work or just get a night out or whatever. <coughs> but, oh, I gotta clear my throat. Sorry about that. Oh, my phlegm. Black stuff is coming out of it. I think I need to get a respirator. We have these vents at school, but I think I don't want to get metal in my lungs. So I'm in welding school. It's a dangerous gig. I need to, uh, I'm slowly getting stuff off of Amazon. So I don't know if that phlegm is from my last apartment or my last Airbnb, whatever you call it. My last rental had black mold. So the black mold was clearing up and then I started welding school and now I'm starting to get black again in my phlegm. So I don't know, I don't know what it's from, but definitely felt this card was for me and I was thinking of somebody. So yeah, I miss, I miss the baby stage, I really do. But unfortunately, I don't think no man's coming to my rescue. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me, myself, and I. It's all I got in the end. It's what I found out. And there ain't no need to cry. From now on, I'm gonna be my own best friend. I got me, myself, and I. I must have cried. I did cry. So. Mmm. Mmm. Did I mention I'm obsessed with ice? So yeah, definitely felt this card was for me. Memories, habits. Yeah, carrying all that baggage. But you know, you need to move forward. So that's the main gist of this card. We could really go in detail and talk about the colors and the meaning, et cetera, et cetera. As you can see, there's a lot of blue and blue usually represents Harmony, balance, spiritual, spiritual, spirituality, spirit. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, some readings may be psychic. Blue sometimes represents psychic, but usually spiritual journey. And like green, growth, fertility. And I think it's weird that it's on the guy. And then she's holding the child. So, you know, he's fertile. And as you can tell, the woman, I'm assuming, mother, however you take this card, she's wearing yellow or gold. And usually that represents hardship and leadership, which is kind of like, you know, and clearly you could just tell she's sad. She's got it draped over and she's holding on like she's, you know, like me, like this couple I had to deal with in Alabama. I felt like they just took a knife to my back and I definitely relate to this. <clears throat> the sky is kind of gray and usually gray represents gloom, sadness, and you know, they're holding on the baggage, they're sad, they need, they need to make this journey and it's a very sad journey. And oh my Lord, y'all, I relate to this card so hard, but we're not gonna cry. Um, I did cry, but we, we turned the camera off and we dealt with it. So that's all I can do is cry, keep writing to DC, um, going back to school. Hopefully I make more money and then hopefully I can fight this, uh, not so sweet home Alabama law. <clears throat> and that's all I can say due to gag orders. Speaking of gag orders, y'all know that Alabama has more laws than DC. Oh buddy. So yeah, uh, whenever I hear that song, Sweet Home Alabama, I just cry because it was not sweet when I was there. So, thought about doing a uh, 
Not so sweet home Alabama. Song. But yeah, so that concludes it. Definitely felt this card was for me. Did you feel this card was for you? If so, let me know in the comment below. Again, I do these for fun. I am no psychic, no fortune teller, no. I just do these for fun. So now if you are psychic and you do this professionally, don't come at me. Give me a teaching moment because I had somebody like go off and be really nasty. And I'm like, dude, I said before, I'm not a psychic. I do these for fun. But they just like rip me a new one, buddy. But it's the internet. What are you going to do? All right. You guys have a good one. And thanks for tuning in.